why. Like, I'm not- I can't even really articulate exactly how I'm feeling other than just pure incredulousness. Just... Why? Why do people still give Derek Savage money? What is the matter with you? I swear to God, let me find out that someone I know is giving money to Derek Savage. I will steal shit out of your house if I find that out. I'll push you off the highest cliff I could find. I'll get my red jumpsuit on right now. What about him? Is is, is even like ironically redeeming at this point? Or did you make Eve more content to laugh at? He doesn't make more content! He's a fucking dementia patient! Disclaimer, there is no hard evidence to suggest Derek Savage has dementia. <sighs> to some of you guys who might not be familiar with who Derek Savage is, you might consider that a pretty bold and uncalled for statement. You know, people can spend their money how they want. <laughs> well, to that I say, no, you're incorrect. You should not be spending money on Derek Savage. It's against the rules. If you give more money to Derek Savage, I, like, genuinely do not think you're entitled to have money. You have a fucking problem. Do you need help? Do you need, do you need me to show you how to not donate money to Derek Savage? Check this shit out. This shit will fucking blow your mind out right here. You open up PayPal, and you know the part where you give the money to Derek Savage? You don't do that. It's fucking brilliant, I know. <sighs> Let's go back a bit, though. Everyone's familiar with his biggest film, Cool Cat Saves the Kids. Everyone's made fun of it for giving bad advice to kids, not really having a plot, and simply just being very comedically exploitable. I'd be remiss if I didn't say the majority of the Cool Cat backstory. Cool Cat is the creation of a fucking deranged Republican anti-vaxxer named Derek Savage. He created the character for a book series to market to kids about protecting the environment and being nice to the environment. Okay. Ten years later, he would then create NFTs of the character and use the character's profile to promote them. Because I haven't actually talked about this on the video, let's give a little discussion on it. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, are a grift in which people can put their name on a database to say that they paid that much money to have their name on that database. And we're talking, no exaggeration here, countries worth of electricity being spent on storing these names. There's a pretty common misconception that the people that are paying this much money to own these pictures actually get to, you know, own them. But you're really not owning them. You're not licensing the image, you're just buying the name slot on the website, hoping that they can eventually put those images up for auction and make more money off of it. Yes, this is a blatant scam, seeing as how there's always going to be someone that ends up paying too much for it, and all of a sudden they spent a million fucking dollars on this image, and they can't do shit with it, because it's worthless. NFTs are typically bought using cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is when you use a computer to do complex math for no reason, and then it somehow generates value doing that. This has resulted in scalpers buying up graphics cards by the hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hooking them up, and making massive farms to generate Bitcoin and literally print money with, in exchange for generating pollution and wasting energy. This effect has been so detrimental that it has caused a chip shortage, making the prices of things like graphics cards outside the reach of hobbyists wanting to use them for, you know, videos or art, animation, you know, something that actually contributes to society. But I guess Derek's right, there really aren't any children's books promoting being nice to the environment. Between 2012 and 2013, Derek Savage used this character to make three short films. The intention seems to be that these were, like, educational, but you can't even really call them that. In one of these shorts, all he does is just show off that him and Cool Cat were in the Hollywood parade and they fucking go on about it for like 20 minutes like, Oh wow, uh, we're so impressed that you managed to- Pissing me off, Derek. But genuinely, it's presented like I give a shit that Derek was able to pull some strings to get himself into the Hollywood parade. There's nothing to learn here at all, so it's a good thing that this makes up over a third of the film. Then we got Cool Cat Stops Bullying, which sounds like it's about Cool Cat learning to, you know, not bully people, but that'd actually be a bit interesting. Yeah, it's actually just about him stopping bullying, like, ultimately, like, full stop. 
Yeah, thanks, Cool Cat. You're a real OG for that one. In this short, they also encourage kids to accept prizes from secret contests. What if it's a secret contest? And I just want a whole bunch of money. And we can take a nice trip together! That's a splendid idea! And then we got Cool Cat Finds a Gun, which I guess I can't really complain about since it gives fairly accurate information, but like, unless you live in Portland or Detroit, I don't think this is gonna relate to many kids. Now let me tell you something about Derek. You've not seen someone milk a franchise as indefatigably as he does. Even though he went on to make three more films featuring Cool Cat, he didn't make any new content until his most recent film, fucking eight years later. Unless you want to count the fucking transitional scenes between the short films that they added in Cool Cat Saves the Kids as like a desperate Hail Mary attempt to try and trick kids into thinking it's an actual film. Yeah, a lot of people don't notice this, but Cool Cat Saves the Kids is actually a compilation of Derek's three previous short films. There is nothing new about it. In fact, if you total up all the footage of the previous three short films, you only got like 20 extra minutes of footage, maybe? And it's all just completely superfluous. There is no reason for it at all. Oh, but you didn't just do that once. He did it again with Cool Cat Kids Superhero, which is like a difference of five minutes in length. So, what the, why? It's, it's the same film. It's the same one, just re-edited. Why are you giving money to this? In the same year that he released Cool Cat Kids Superhero, he's tried to start his Kickstarter for Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. Derek's just been so sick of this trend of just these darn school shootings. And he decided to collab with Mumkey Jones to try and get him to be the school shooter character in exchange for promoting the Kickstarter, which he asked for like $25,000 for. He managed to get about $8,000, and towards the end of the campaign, instead of either canceling it or trying to make the school shooting film, he tried to suddenly change it to be Cool Cat Stranger Danger, and that he was gonna recast Mumkey as like a different character. No! You cannot do that, Derek! That's fraud! He committed fraud and just changed it under the rug. The people that donated to it, he was fine just being able to take their money and using that for Cool Cat Stranger Danger. After he got backlash from this, I think he canceled it and didn't end up making it, but it is possible he still kept that money. Cat headquarters. Oh, <laughs> hey, you ain't seen nothing. 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 What? But I guess the funniest thing throughout this whole experience is that Monkey Jones made his own short film called Monkey Jones Stops a School Shooting, and it is infinitely better than anything Derek Savage could ever hope to make for five dollars. And he's been teasing Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting like it's his next film for like the last four years. He's gonna, all right, next time, I swear to God, it's gonna be Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. Then he makes the 420 Awards. Okay, this time, after the 420 Awards, Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. Nope, 420 Awards too. Okay, this time, it's gonna be Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. Nope, we're gonna talk about the, the coronavirus pandemic, which came out in the, the height of the pandemic, by the way, May of 2021, which was after the third 420 Awards in which Derek tries to give both perspectives on the fucking coronavirus debate. Okay, like they're equally valid. Considering that Derek actually tweeted out criticizing the vaccine, saying that, oh, the FDA will approve anything if they're pressured enough, I wouldn't be surprised that he wanted to legitimize the perspective of, you know, anti-vax people. I also do think it's funny how in May of 2021, when we were 14 months into the pandemic, he still called it coronavirus, when coronavirus is an umbrella term to describe a branch of diseases. You call COVID, COVID-19. That's the strain you're talking about. And it's funny that it came out like so late in the pandemic that it was like, the, the the lowest point that it ever was, because that was just before Delta came around. It's just hilarious to me. Let's talk a bit more about that. Cool Cat Stops Coronavirus is fucking embezzlement. I'm not even kidding. He got thousands of dollars to make this, and this whole movie looks like shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Our state has had a massive increase in coronavirus cases. My best friend even caught coronavirus. There has to be an answer. This is scary. I don't want to catch coronavirus and get sick. Me neither. But the ADR for Cool Cat, because they couldn't get the original voice actor, looks like shit. Hello, Cool Cat. Hi, Cool Cat. Hi, Angela and Brittany. I'm just boogie woogieing. Sounds like What are shit. you doing? It's almost entirely shot in like someone's backyard with like a camcorder. There's nothing professional about it at all. Not to say that Cool Cat saves the kids, aka Cool Cat Kids Superhero, aka Cool Cat Finds a Gun, aka Cool Cat in the Hollywood Parade, aka Cool Cat Stops Bullying, were like marvels of cinematic achievement, but they weren't like horribly put together. They, you could tell that there was some professionalism. It's, that's really all you need to say about it. It's a terrible, terrible film. It took months to come out after he got the funding for it. So I don't understand after all of this, after he's committed fraud, after he's committed embezzlement, after he keeps re-editing the same fucking movie and reselling it to you guys, you fucking morons keep giving him money. Why? It, give me money. Give me it. I'll, I'll fucking make a film that'll knock your socks off. It'll make me a thousand times better than anything Derek Savage could do. Like, holy hell. Stop. I didn't even plan on making this video, but since he's announced Cool Cat saves the kids, the director's cut, I had to do it. This guy, he needs to be stopped. He's fucking on the loose, just getting money from idiots, and no one's doing anything about it. No one is. I'm living in a fucking cardboard box. So please, please, if you, if you are genuinely thinking about it, please donate to my charity. Stop giving money to Derek Savage Foundation, because that, that's, that's a more noble cause than this. It's not for kids. Kids don't know who the fuck Cool Cat is. The only people that know Cool Cat is are the fucking idiots that keep giving them money because they're like, er, her, her, it's ironic. You cannot ironically give someone money. Impossible. Bullshit. K yourself. How is this a difficult concept? He's a fucking con man, and that's all there is to him. And that's all there's ever gonna be, because it's been over a decade. Billy the Kid, Butch the Bully, this character here, do you know how old he is now? He's 19! I think we've had enough of this same film being re-edited. Cool Cat's not fucking cool. You know what's cool? Subscribing to my channel, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends to spread the message that this plague of Derek Savage, this, this fucking undesirable that continues to proliferate through our society please we need to put an end to this financially cut them off put some sanctions on i don't care how it happens but this it needs to be done it's an urgent case